This dude is is ruining the whole he, club. This is like one of those club hangout servers, and he's hacking it, and he spawned an excavator. And he's just That's destroying so the whole server. I wonder why Chris never got hired by IDW Publishing, though. It's a mystery to me. <laughs> but anyway, Sonatu, number six. Sonatu! Um, this is you a might new character. see new faces. More people have been coming around. It's great. It's great. And you know what else is great? I hit a thousand subscribers. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's Gen go. Genuinely, I say I hit it, but it's really like we hit it because no, no I, it. I had nothing I, to do with it until now i came in after you were successful that's the kind of friend that i am genuinely thank thank you everyone for helping me and all my friends and everything like i could get monetized now am i no that's too much paperwork um, i don't want to have to make an llc i don't know we don't want to put this on our chat <laughs> yeah, yeah, <LLC. laughs> it does look like he's shitting blood on a dog there in that one Oh man, it really does, doesn't it? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> it does. That's just the Chris Chan art style. All right. What the fuck? He just went in his backyard Wait, and took photos. Episode 12.5 One Lucky Dog. Allow me to introduce my sweet dog, Patty. She was born on March 17th, 1988, St. Patrick's Day, and she's a part beagle and part spitz. We open on the night of June 26, 2006, where she's looking towards the moon. For from the safety of her pen, who's going to be the dog? Can he? Oh. Can he not get his dog to get a picture there? Did he have to draw it? You're gonna regret saying that later. Let's go. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> hey, just, just give me what you said. Hey, yo, age check. <laughs> oh, I haven't felt as spry as I used to, and my rump's so itchy. <laughs> <laughs> but the moon is pretty tonight. That one twinkling dot lures me more with its sparkliness. <laughs> I wish I could walk and talk like my master, so I could tell him in his language how I feared. Thank him for thank him for his years of kindness, and let him know I love him. Oh, woo! Who took? Oh my who took, god! Who took these photos, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's gotten really good at drawing by like this. Yeah, <laughs> he's like hyper like like realistic. I think he switched over to oil paints. Yeah, that looks really Did good. Did he just give up? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, fuck? it's like whenever you're watching a movie with your parents, they're like, what's happening here? It's just like, I don't know. I just started watching the movie, too. <laughs> just, just read. <laughs> read, Kiri, uh, read. I'll have a quick snack before my, my nightly slumber. <laughs> Thanks for that. Next day. Okay, Scamper, hello. I have to feed Patty now. Patty? Patty girl? Tweet, tweet. Oh, there you are. Come, Patty, it's time for food. Come on, girl. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> Patty, you can talk? Not only that, you look different, too. Huh? What are you? Huh? Oh, wow, I can speak your language. Hooray for me. This can only go bad. Uh, a little dizzy. Well, <laughs> I'm standing like you, master. That looks like her legs are getting fucking cut off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like whatever the samurai just like clicks his katana and his sheath and it's just Choo! I hope he doesn't wish... sexualize this fucking dog. It looks like he's he gonna will. fuck the dog. He's gonna <laughs> fuck the dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Shane wish... Dawson! That was a cat. <laughs> you don't know what he did to Uno. <laughs> you know what's fair. <laughs> My wish came true! Oh, Master, I can't believe it to tell you how elated I feel. Come to think of it, I feel so young, as if I were three years old. That's 21 in dog years. He's gonna fuck it. He <laughs> has to clarify. He had to fucking clarify that that's 21 in dog years. While I'm still in shock over your transformation, I'm happy that you feel happy. Come, let's get some food in you. Give you a bath and a makeover would be good, too. Thank you, Chris! That's Thank not the you. only thing he's gonna put in that dog. Oh, Chris, I'm so grateful for your cow over the years of my life, and I love you so much. Yet, I am tired of being confined in my pen. With my new form, I can now roam free. But I wouldn't want to put worse wear on my paws. Wow, I understand how you feel. I can help you. I know of a great place where you can run free and have great friends to be with and not 
have to worry about scary the natives. What does that mean? Uh, that has to have some sort of racist connotation. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh my god. <laughs> to get there, we have to take the shortcut in my bedroom. Well, we no. After you, oh. chivalry ain't Dear dead. Oh god! I've never seen his fucking room before. <laughs> Watch your step. Wow, your room's a bit crowded. I can see one reason why you need a woman's touch. <laughs> More like, yeah. this is the reason why he hasn't felt a woman's touch. Yeah, among other good reasons. And what is that symbol right there? <laughs> like a nutsack. <laughs> yeah, he drew a nutsack. But I My think ball's finally dropped. Open says a me. Oh my god. He doesn't know what the, how to spell sesame? You fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh! This way to Quickville. From my house to Quickville, any other way would be a longer walk. And here we are, the city of Quickville. We're in Quickville always! Does Quickville turn you into a shitty drawing? Is that, yeah, is that the magical like, ability that this place has? It looks like it. Patty, you and I are in the heart and epicenter of Quickville. My mayoral office is located above the shopping center's north entrance. Not Whoa! only is it a home away from home, but every city document, every public decision, every single fine event that goes on in this community are all planned and stored here in these four walls. Uh, do you handle all of these responsibilities while you're not here? <sighs> Excellent question, Patty. I have a secretary who takes in the incoming documents after looking them over. She calls me on my cell phone and gives me all the details. She then scans and transmits the data of the document through a special PC program to the Quickville satel Satellite. I don't think that's how you spell satellite. No. It's, it's not. Which sends it to my DS. Then, I can read the document, including the fine print, and sign my approval on the touchscreen. The signature gets printed onto the original document, and it's a done deal. It'd be really nice if Nintendo made a, <laughs> a PDA program with a personal notepad function to take notes and memos in. It's called Notepad. <laughs> He's so dumb. It sure is. It's called Picto He's so Chat. dumb. A bit, oh, time later. So with that scepter and those bracelets I made for you, you will be able to defend yourself from the villains with some of my power that I bestowed unto them. Now, before I forget, uh, Miss Amber? Trevor, you wanna, you wanna be Miss Amber? Who wants to be Miss Amber? <laughs> yes, Mr. Chandler? Patty Chan, this is my secretary, Miss Allison Amber, former movie star. She retired early for, to pursue her dream of being the aide of a big cheese like me. Allison, this is my sweet lucky dog, Patty. She has got under a grand reservation and she wishes for more free roaming space, so I brought her here. This bone with like a little crucifix taped to the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Jesus. a defender from the vampires or whatever. <laughs> it's to ward demons like Chris away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you! I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Amber! I am happy to make your acquaintance as well, Patty. I have heard nice things about you from Chris. Allison Amber, age 26, in a relationship with uh, her boyfriend. Dude, he's an incel even in his fantasies. This is yeah. fucking sad. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I do not know if this is a real woman or not, and I'm too scared to look it up. Those fucking cattle clompers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Oh, Sonichu, what's up? Ha. Oh, okay, I'll be right down. Uh, Drive Me Crazy by Britney Spears <laughs> slash NPC Feel player? So Lonesome by... <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, he's got a song. I'm gonna, gonna force y'all to do a video with me reacting to his music. My favorite is the Tell Me Why one. Oh, a that's banger. a masterpiece. I see that, that one, I know. Good. I've seen that one. Oh, he's pitch perfect. Yeah. He doesn't miss a single note. I gotta go, Sonichu, and Roshchu need me. Patty, I will come visit you time and again, but consider Quickville your new room grounds. In this place, your new home. Ah, do you have those items, Miss Amber? Thank you. Patty, take this cell phone with unlimited minutes. Use it to call Allison or me when you are hurt and show this card to the cashier of any supermarket grocery store or restaurant. They will give you the food you need and treat you with high respect. You take care, Patty Chan. I will always love you, my sweet friend. Look at him, like, attacking her. Holy <laughs> shit. We're about to see a video from Patty, like, later on down the road, my experience with Chris Chan and Quick Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Chris hey. Chan pulls out his guitar here, guitar, and starts smacking the buttons. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since you've seen my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
actually drew her to look uncomfortable. Because that's what he's used to. That's all he knows about women, is yeah. them being uncomfortable around him. He thinks that's a normal facial expression yeah. to make when going for hugs. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sad now, damn. Ugh. Uh. Well, that was an experience. <laughs> oh, the sucker's to the switch on Oh my god, it's- this is the- Attention, fans! Are you ready to rock? Yeah! Good! Now you can groove to the inspired tunes of Christian Chandler Sonichu and the band on their debut CD, Christian and the Hedgehog Boys. Dance and listen to the messages of... So need a cute girl. Feel so lonesome. And have fun with... La Cocina and La Casa de Casanova. Yellow is a mellow color. And more sweet tracks jam with as well. Thank you, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Don't delay, get a copy today. No, there are very few copies available, and Chris Chan has them all. <laughs> <laughs> you want them. And you can't have them. Last time, the city of Quickville was under the terror of Mary Lee Wasp. Christian Crystal and Electric Hedgehogs battled there battled with her squad of jerk offs and giant cat chef. The pretty Soldier Sailor Megtude and Magagi showed up in the nick of time to help. Just as Christian was about to finish the witch, she turned the tables and now she has Crystal in her clutches. Stay tuned to see who will triumph in part two. I read Evil is Afoot. I read that Elvis Afoot. Episode 14 Elvis Afoot. Is you my right. rival witch? Christian, if you ever want your sisters back, you and your crew will bow down to me and surrender your hearts and souls upon my clutches. Ah. <laughs> you sound like Mario's dad. Thanks. <laughs> Darn, she's so high up. One wrong move and Crystal may become worse than heart shattered. What should we do? What does that mean? Is that no a croissant? Behold the power of the well-trusted dog! <laughs> Behold the power of the inspired knight! Yay, Betty to the dark came to help. I met Betty at the mall earlier, and who doesn't remember DB? Everyone! <laughs> oh, good God. She's oh, built like a Roblox character. No one messes with my sweet friend's heart unless they like super heavy metal. Megtune, Rockin' Hurricane. Bow. <laughs> I'll be back with more terror! Wait, so that's like them disappearing in the distance? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. They're blasting off again. Oh, God. I your head. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hold up. Can I? Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Two hours later at the mayor's office. I had this dream that I was seeing my father with long hair in the mirror. Ah, uh -huh, Miss Evil is so stressed I could tell from his shaky knee. Kristen will be protected in my spice fam, but poor Chris. Hmm. I sure hope she doesn't go after my friends on Paradise. <laughs> Wait, what? Paradise Isle? That is not how that's spelled. Paradise Isle. Look, it's spelled like a slur. I sense two more crystal balls nearby, but I need. What? But I need to wait before I search for them, Zelina. I'm missing my summer day pizza cats. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, but Mary is a truly wicked witch! What terror do you think may happen? I wish they hurried up! Look how gigantic Wild Sonichu's head is. <laughs> I know! Oh my god, he's like, he's like a turtle shell. Ah! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> ah! I'm afraid it doesn't look good for Crystal. That love-hating witch did a real number. Is that not the knight? No, no, they're different. No, characters. that's that. This is Magic Chan Sonichu. Oh, if you look here, Darkbind has the white spots on his ears, but the Magic Chan doesn't. Oh my God! Oh, on the yes. top, and There's... he's facing the same direction in the mirror as he is. Like wh what? That's Crystal, his sister, who's trapped in a mirror right now. Just gotta catch you up if you didn't think it was clear. Holy fucking shit! My head. No, this is the worst. She made it about as hard as Chris's dream coming true. Grr. Sweet boy, I'm just as worried as you, and it looks very bad, but I'm certain there's a way to free Crystal, so there's no need for a bombastic tone. Bombastic? Spacking of bombs. <laughs> Wasn't Bionic just totally de bomb <laughs> at his last b-ball game? I think he'll win it for the Lancers all the way. I know, and he has yet to beat his own record of 125 baskets in one game. Then again, the ball has to be shared between him and team. He's so generous. What, what a, a dream, dream boat. boat. Oh, boat. <laughs> also, what the fuck were they talking about? 
What do you I mean? Have no like, idea. What ball game? You'll you'll understand. I won't. When the time comes. I won't. No, Chris, Chris is trying to implement this great thing called foreshadowing by blatantly telling you stuff that you don't know yet. Oh, wow. Bionic the Hedgehog, if I wasn't kicked off the team for Miss, y Miss Musu of Venal <laughs> Defense, I could have easily broken his record, and I could have had the ladies for my choice. Ladies, one at a time. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that over. Like, <laughs> Holy shit, sorry. I'm so, you got me fucked up. I was so ready to say the whole thing and then you just died laughing. <laughs> You're more of a like Kool Aid Asian man. Oh my god, fucking Asian Kool Aid guy. My guys. god, I have to put oh, in an obligatory I'm Asian again, don't I? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Uh, hang on. You can do it. I, I can fucking do it, bro. Well, well, Christmas is coming down, kid. The skunk talk. <laughs> no, yeah, I can fuck. Do skunk slide. Jeez, boys can get so darn jealous when they can't ever find themselves a pretty girl to be with, or otherwise they're feeling so lonesome. In rare cases, it gets so bad that the one jealous man can detest ninety-nine point nine 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 six percent of the worldwide male population, excluding himself and those within the margin of error remaining percentage. Ladies, one at a time. I thought strength impressed them greatly, but they would rather date the man with the sport ball than the man of iron glory. Can I just say one thing? Yes. Whenever Cameron was saying, <laughs> whenever he was saying nine nine <laughs> nine 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 nine, <laughs> that's all I think of, dude. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the clip of the Jontron clip of Hitler singing Akuta Matata? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I, I have to show you guys laughter. <laughs> okay. Enough! Yeah, well, Patty, <gasps> you're just saying such flowers because you're his dog. No way! I love him truly! Yes, it is. I, I have no idea what's going on here. No. This is a meeting. A meeting about men and women. Uh, did Chris Chan <laughs> literally just pull a not all men no. card? More importantly, we tried every spell trap, poke power, and trainer abilities we had, as well as every attack we could muster, but it was no use. However, we did come to a conclusion that the only thing that weakened the glass a bit was the power of the crystal sonatru ball. Out of seven, we had one on we had on hand. We will need the power of all seven to pull crystal out of the dark world. Similarly, <laughs> similarly, <laughs> similarly, <laughs> yeah. Similarly, <laughs> if we cannot acquire the seven crystal sun balls, the power of the seven chaos emeralds should open the portal as well. He combined chaos emeralds with pokeballs. Oh, Dark Bites talk about his balls, go. <laughs> <laughs> My two balls! <laughs> okay, Dark Bind is blue eyes, right? Yeah. Hmm. Looks like Dark Bind has secured two sun balls ahead of us for his beloved princess, Selena Rose, too. Why are those thought bubbles connected if they're coming from two separate people? <laughs> Because yeah. oh, wow. Magic Chan is a psychic type and can read his mind, duh. Oh, uh, okay. Why do the why do these crystal That's how he spells these? <laughs> this why do why do the uh, crystals have to uh, uh, uh fuck, let me try that again. Why do these crystals have to attract each other? I cannot be deprived of my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yet <laughs> We are children. Yet I need all seven to awaken my beloved Zelina. What the fuck is this lore? What's oh. going on? What is this creepy shit? I don't know. <laughs> it seemed like just yesterday we were a blushing couple strolling through real, real quick. Hi, yeah. rule, but quick. He's supposed no to be late. <laughs> it's Zelda Chew. 
But on the night of her ball, the evil wizard Clawdorf cursed eternal sleep over our princess as he unleashed the power of the crystal sonatu balls from the ancient tablet. While it backfired on him by turning Clawdorf to stone, Zelina uh, collapsed into slumber as I was about to propose to her. I was devastated. He just like came in the middle of that sentence. <laughs> I had heard his demonic crackle echo through real quick. Then I swore that I would retrieve the balls and lift his curse from my beloved princess, Zelina Rosejew. Something's happening downstairs. Sonachu, Magichan, come with me. Everyone else stay here until further notice. <laughs> what floor below at the jewelry store? Behold, this Sonachu ball is the first of many keys towards my global reign. Is he wearing a fucking jockstrap? There. Okay, so the backstory is is that Nate Zerk, the opposite of Chris Chan, so Nate Zerk is evil and gay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's the opposite. Is he not a virgin? He gets the all the men. Hold it, fiend. You will not get away so quickly after such a loud disturbance. Ah, uh, yes. The goody goody sad sack virgin is in the house. Dark hedgehog power. Dark Dome Stadium. Sonichu Magichan. Did you make sure that you leave my master alone? Insolent pest. Ooh. Sonichu, no! Magichan! Oh, Super Cat of Frederick's <laughs> You were in the wild world of extreme sports, are we? And just who are you? Am I having a stroke? Did I, I read that right? <laughs> no, you read that the right. The word that you sped run through, through just broke you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ha 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 We are in dark dimension of my creation. Everyone else remains in Quickville. So it's just the two of us here. And as for who I am. Uh, of all the things Christian misspells, he spelled supercalifragilisticexpialidocious correctly. You Googled that shit. If you recall the ancient prophecy from where you got your powers, ancient. if the metal is plunged into darkness, even for just a few minutes, upon the one who looked similar to you and has your first name spelled reverse, the dark Sonichu medallion would be created, and the victim would have the sleeping evil within him awakened and emerge. I vaguely remember such a detail. I may have missed the fine print, but what doesn't place a name yet? Who are you? Very well. I was the adopted child known simply as Nate Zerk Giovanni. In this form, I... Rildnak Hatake. What? <laughs> but of my true form, I am very similar to you, Christian Weston Chandler. But I possess very opposite traits and characteristics compared to yours. I am darkness. I am evil. I am open. I am. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Rednet's not suit Nate Zerk! He's showing his ankles! Oh my oh, god, he's no. so cool. Dude, yeah. I'm so turned on right now. He's covering his nips though with the little. <laughs> Fun fact Chris Chan gets disgusted at the sight of men's nipples, which is probably why he designed Nate Zerk to have his covered up. <laughs> then why make him shirtless? Because he gotta show he's gay. <laughs> Oh my dog, my fantasies blow vastly towards my opposite gender. I am so offended. Put a shot on. Meanwhile, Black Sonichu, what's the score? Two to one. Spill it. <laughs> well, anything, Magic Chan? No, I am unable to send my mental wavelength into the dark dome. The only way to learn Christian status is to wait. Oh my god, my voice is destroyed. <sighs> My master Nitzirk has gone under a real dark transformation. He wanted to take over the world and kill Christians so that he w <laughs> so he wants the seven crystal balls of legend. And he anticipated this confrontation upon the snatching of his first son of Juba. Yep, it was all his idea. I am concerned though. He shoved his father out of his bath without remorse. He's been insulting me at every moment and to top it off. He put whipped cream in my rockets. Ugh. You know, for a stray man, he writes an awful lot about balls. I'm surprised Nate Zerk could be that cruel. It has to be some dark curse or something. I sense honesty in his mind as he explains. <laughs> I'm just doing the Christian voice. <laughs> I can certainly tell you that Chris would rather listen to his father's bickery now. By the way, how is Bubbles, the Lu Lucius set of water and electricity? Since when was this a thing? Yeah, in your dreams, evildoer. 
<laughs> oh, wait, until you see issue 8. Oh, no! Oh, okay. No, no, no! <laughs> Back in the dark dome. Cowardly liar, you dare put me down with your insults where I lack in confidence. I make up for in heart strength and the caring, loving boost from my sweet friend, Meg Chan. You weakling, your feeble autism and big heart <laughs> hinder you vastly beyond Belter. Bel, 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 Bel liar. <laughs> I have no such weakness. There, I am the strongest. <laughs> I will fight in defense with true might. I will never be tempted towards your gross standards. Let's rock. What a bit. I'll, I'll whomp you next Tuesday. Dark Shack <laughs> Power. Christian Sonichu, warrior of love and honesty. Versus. Real neck hot hot. Is it Hatake? I guess. Somebody needs to tell this fucking moron that whenever he does, <laughs> like. A, a, a landscape page. It's two pages, not yeah. one. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to do a cover spread, not a fucking. Anyway. Uh, Chris Chan. <laughs> Real dick. <laughs> Thank you for shopping in Quickville. What? I'm so fucking high on the, the the dumbness of this that the little <laughs> sent me over the edge. Know, <laughs> this like is this is up. like something your like four year old nephew would hand you, and you'd be like, "Oh my god, you did such a great job! I love it." Me? But it's it's a twenty five year old man. <laughs> now, ever of you should interfere, the intensity of this battle would be too much for any of us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit. he ran out of marker ink. We're gonna need like some Dragon Ball sound effects or something. <laughs> Optimum Prime. Biden Blast. <laughs> Yo, we got Biden Blasted. With the power of the Crystal Sonatu Ball I have in my hand, I will deliver the final blow. How befitting is it that I get to destroy you in the school where you felt most happy? Too bad you won't be able to meet your fellow gal pal lancers at the reunion. Ha ha ha! Farewell, Christopher Weston Chandler! <laughs> hey, Christian, are you okay? Please say something. Uh, Megan? Is this the part where he wakes up from his delusion and goes back to normal? What happened? For a while, you were unconscious. Magagi led me here. Then she went back to Paradise Island. Your hedgehogs restored the damage from earlier. What a rail back. That other guy? Ugh, don't get me started. He was just too weird. Anyway, we hit his head on the bleachers. Wait, what? He hit his head on the bleachers, and he was still breathing, so he was sent to Quickville General Hospital. That jerk was about to finish me. <laughs> How does said meet the bleachers? Alright, right, new character, new character. Trevor. Uh, Chris, oh, Trevor. Trevor. But Christmas hasn't had a chance to voice much. Uh, did punchies. Has Trevor done anything other not than- Not really. Me? Let Trevor do uh, it. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about punchy, I'll be honest. I was too busy laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can answer that, old buddy. I was shooting some hoops when I heard a crash. Stunned and surprised, I watched as the green guy made a speech. When I heard what he was gonna do, I threw my basketball with gusto. Direct hit and beyond. Not bad for a Lancer. And before that was back in 99, in that war against autism drawing. Still, it has been about 10 years since I jumped out of that locker and met you. <laughs> Bionic the Hedgehog! I haven't drawn you since 2004 when I made your Yu-Gi-Oh card. I love that Chris Chris is such a fucking nerd that he doesn't even know what a basketball looks like. So the backstory of Bionic is Chris Chan was in gym class one day and a basketball smacked his head and in his mind he formulated this new, original, totally never thought of before, Sonic OC character named Bionic who was like Sonic. <laughs> Sonic's brother from another dimension, and he was super cool and fast and great at basketball, right? And Chris drew him in this drawing he made of like, I beat autism, the war against autism, and like Bionic's like <laughs> holding at the autism flag or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Hey. The original I photo. Autism. Autism in one? <laughs> Clearly not, because he kept making these fucking comics, dude. What? <laughs> like, I thought my autism in a Like, class. no, dude. Maybe you should have hit your head a little harder. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at the clouds, right? It's supposed to spell autism, but it's at 
Kim. When I first laid my eyes on this drawing, I had to take a double take because I thought he attempted spell Auschwitz in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you say that there were like Nazis in this at some point? Are there are there like Jew characters? Because me and Brady are gonna have to fist fight over those. I'd rather not talk about it, Bell. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Yes, that was back in front of a year. By the way, have you two met Bionic? This is Megan Schroeder, my sweet friend. Megan, this meet Sonic's long lost but found b ball playing brother, Bionic the Hedgehog. What kind of fucking voice did I do? I already forgot. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance, Megan. By the way, Christian Sonic Shoe came by and explained his blog to me. The other guy, the other guy had it, but he dropped it, so I'm giving it to you. Speaking of that yellow rat, I understand that soon after you met him, you found a girlfriend for him. I could have had my pick from among my fellow Lancers, but our genes just don't match well. Why didn't you hook me up, Christian Weston Chandler, you piece of shit? Gee, I'm sorry, Bionic, but back then I was naive on dating and all that, so I just didn't think of it at the time. But if you need a sweetheart, Megan has created mm. quite a few Foxy characters. If she's cool with it, you could go out with one of them. God, that's fucking creepy. Thank you. Shoot, 25 years old, and I still haven't even had my first date. Oh, well. <laughs> I won't embellish what anymore. At least I still have something to show of it. Well, while the master copy stays at home, a few copies will be generously shared with a few relatives, friends, and good old Providence Middle and Man... Man Tier High School. It is titled Christian Weston Chandler. Yep, I'm on TV. It will... Feature my two new segments, my Mario Kart Lego movie filmed on Game Boy Camera, my Nintendo Power Worthy Animal Crossing documentary, a slideshow of photographs, art, and comics projected from my PSP, a message for the future from me, and more. Also, there's an homage to my friends, teachers, family, and MHS's 1997 varsity basketball team within the slideshow, all of whom were team... All of whom were remembered from my heart as well as my yearbooks. This DVD will not be sold anywhere. That's a no-brainer. What the fuck is he talking about? He, he is living He's plugging his merch. Fantasy. Oh my god. He Where is. story is supposed to be taking place? What is going on? He pioneered those fucking Raid Shadow Legends sponsor segments. This is it. Funnily enough, Chris Chan actually was one of the first documented cases of a Let's Play on YouTube. Yeah, he was. That's yeah, recording his TV while playing Animal Crossing. Mario Kart Lego movie filmed on my Game Boy camera. Like, that's mm. like trying to watch, like, like a UFO video that's been filmed with, like, a microwave. <laughs> it's like those videos <laughs> on YouTube that are just like, The five Goku spotted in wild! You ever seen those? Nope. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, Christian, that DVD you've told me about. I don't know about it. Please tell me! Oh, Please god. don't. <laughs> We're in the hospital with Nate Zerk. Let's go. This is gonna put me in the fucking hospital. I hope this is over soon. You've been here for one episode. <laughs> <sighs> I know. Cocked okay. his head against the bleachers, huh? Ew, That had to hurt. I wonder if Railnack will ever recover, and if he does... Ten weeks later. Funky monkey, huh? Where am I? Hmm. The last thing I remember was... Fucking? <laughs> yeah! I was about to kill that straight, goody twin of mine when I was hit on the head by a basketball. Who threw that? It's Ugh. sports news, but the Hedgehog won the game against Monroe High with a record-breaking 130 baskets without overtime, and the Lancers now head to the finals against... <laughs> You! It was you! Right before passing out, I saw an orange guy in blue shoes! It was him, Bionic the Hedgehog. He looks like a cancer patient. The oh end? My god! <laughs> oh! oh I don't even have to pull it up! <laughs> a long play. <laughs> yeah! yeah the game we're done! We made a game! game. I can't wait to yeah. play Sonic Adventure on my Nintendo shit cube. Well, bye! Subscribe!